Hello everybody! I am so excited to see you. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla Hazlett and this video is the third part and final part to our series called Spark Your Hope. Now the first video we talked about the insecure doubter and in the second video we talked about the burnt doubter. Now if you haven't seen those videos make sure you go and check them out. But in this video, it's all about the wavering doubt. And this whole series is inspired by a dream I had. And essentially, it was just a candle that was being ignited. And in that dream, it gave me a lot of insight. So today, I want you to imagine a candle that is on fire, but the fire is like wavering back and forth. One minute is bright, the, me the next minute it's dull and you're watching it and it's just like is it going to last is it going to stay you're just like on the edge of your seat because you don't know like it could go either way it's time to be all the way real y'all i waver all the time to the point where being confident on anything was weird and one particular moment was contemplating posting this video. One minute I'd be like, yes, let's do it. Who's gonna watch this? Who's gonna care? Why does my voice even matter? It's just a dream. And I don't know about you, but this constant seesaw of emotions and thoughts has me sick. That is what wavering it is. The word says that a man that doubts will get tossed and fro by every wicked wind. These thoughts that creep into my mind that says, I didn't matter, I'm not good enough, who cares? Those were the winds tossing me back and forth and back and forth. And guess what? The winds didn't stop, but it made me stop. It made me stop going. It made me stop sharing. It made me stop being confident. But enough is enough. I'm not going to waver anymore. And you better not either. Someone may be watching this video and you are on the brink of giving up. You started off on fire. Situations came, life came, and literally you feel like the winds are blowing against you. But I'm challenging you right now. Don't you dare give up. Don't you dare stop. We need your light. We need your business. We need your book. We need your idea. We need it. It's not a want. It's not a maybe. It's not a question. You are needed and it needs to happen now. Because let's look at a candle. The point of a candle is to be a light, to illuminate in your life, your business, your purpose will be a light. We can't waver guys because there's someone in the dark. There's someone praying for the light that you can provide. I want to help you and I want to share what helped me. When we celebrate a birthday, we light the candles and we put them on the cake. We close our eyes, make a wish, and blow out the candles. Before you let circumstances, before you let challenges, before you let doubt and worry blow out your candle. I want you to close your eyes and remember that dream. Remember that wish. Remember your why. That will be your reason not to waver anymore. To keep your fire burning and to keep going. Number two is to identify your extinguishers. Tip number two is to identify your extinguishers. So first things first, y'all, we lit. And so we're trying to stay lit. 
but if we're honest this world is full of extinguishers full of things to stop the progress stop the passion stop the joy and if we're careful they will do just that so what are these extinguishers these are your fears these are your worries these are anxieties these are stresses we have to identify those things that can wipe out our flame wipe out our passion because those are the things that when we're lit they will immediately come to try to snuff it out so let's stop let's think and let's assess last and final tip is to stay flammable my friends last tip stay flammable my friends how can we stay lit if we keep going in this same wavering cycle and y'all know what i'm talking about we lit we got a spark we got a great idea then we start worrying and then we are wavering to the point where we about to give up so how do we break that cycle it's by asking for help it's time to put our pride aside and be open in those areas where we're lacking because that is the only way we can feel it so let's ask help to god there was a man in the bible that says god i believe you but help my unbelief y'all nothing surprises god so you wavering and you feeling moments of doubt and confusion and worrying that doesn't surprise him so you don't have to put on this perfect image for God. Just be real. I kind of trust you and I kind of don't. Can you help me in that? Number two is to ask help of your friends. And it's okay. They will surprise you. A lot of times people are more willing and capable to help you than you even thought. And lastly, is to help yourself by seeking different skills and different knowledge and different tools. Go on LinkedIn, go to Google University, read some articles, read a book, go on YouTube. The only way we'll break these cycles is by combating it with knowledge, combating it with resources, combating it with help. So let's put our pride aside and get the help that we need so we can be lit forever. Can I get an amen? Thank you so much for watching the last and final part to the Spark Your Hope series. My goal is that something in this video really sparked your hope because we're not trying to waver anymore. Now I want you to subscribe, comment, like, and share this video. I will be working on more videos just like this. So stay tuned. I can't wait to see you again. Stay encouraged, be blessed, 